Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of this bear hunt. We're going to be camping for two days. Um, we're driving a Pontiac and we kind of just hit our first uh, problem. There's snow on the road, so we're going to have to go and loop down the left side of the mountain and probably just camp in the canyon and hunt that. So, we're going to go do that. Uh, just got to adapt and overcome, I guess. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, get back to you guys when we finally find a camping spot. All right, well, this is uh, home sweet home, our humble abode for the next couple days, I think. Or maybe one day, I don't know. We might relocate, but. What are you thinking? Lots of country to glass up in the morning or tonight. Oh, we'll go up there. What? We'll go up there. Yeah, and in the morning, we think we're just gonna drive up as far as we can and then just take a big hike into the uh, lake. So. You could probably go up all in the lake and hit the top of this ridge and drop back down. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we're going to set up camp real quick and get to get the glass and stuff. Looking around. Woo! Me and Ty just used our Viking strength and uh, built this nice glassing spot here. So, plan is. Right here on our little bench, find some bears. Wow, this is awesome. The question is getting in range if we see one, you know, over on this hillside. It's gonna be a little hard. We'll see how it goes. Sites is setting up our Amazon ghetto phone scope. Oh, we'll see. And our see. Simons. This is a uh, free tripod. I think like a $90 spotting scope. <laughs> and then we've got this ghetto phone scope, scope for like 15 bucks. And then we got my broken ass. So. Yeah. <laughs> we got Ty's photo. Well, let's see if we can see. Oh, hold on. Oh. I can record. So. Yeah, but. Sooner or later. Right now, I'm cool. just trying to get just right. Sick. Yeah, mine's an iPhone. It doesn't really run too well on that, but his phone works. So if we do get footage from that, it's gonna be kind of crappy, but I mean, it'll still be footage. It's always gonna look like that. Too. Yeah. All right. We'll get back to you guys if we see anything. Just been glassing away. Guys over here building us a fire pit. Glassing's been pretty slow. Haven't seen nothing yet. We finally got this set up to work. But yeah, tomorrow we're going on a long hike up to a lake and we're gonna glass the whole way and see if we don't bump a bear. If that doesn't work out. We'll drop down this canyon. If that doesn't work out. Up the other side and go up that snow. Yeah, but we're gonna take fishing poles tomorrow. Uh, so if nothing else, we're gonna go fish in a cool lake that probably doesn't have fish in it, but you know <laughs> We'll see uh, Yeah, we'll get this fire started maybe cook up some dinner and <sighs> Should be pretty good. We'll keep you guys updated Date. Sitting here getting smoked on. We built the bench up. Meeting a little bar. We're gonna cook up some ramen and uh, relax, I guess. So I think um, I'm just gonna get this dinner in and we're gonna hit the hay. After well, we'll probably glass till dark and then we're gonna hit the hay. And uh, yeah, do a snow hike tomorrow and a lot of glassing and. At least we'll get to go fishing at that lake, so that'll be cool. But we'll see what happens. I mean, we're just kind of out here on a whim. Uh, have some info that there is bears up here, but oh man, that smoke! 
not really sure if we're going to find any or what. So we're just having a good time. We're going to be out here about two days. So got a little bit more time. Kind of Chef YRD over here cooking up our. Uh... Whipping that around. <laughs> You gotta get the right consistency. Oh, there's grass in there. That's pretty good for you. <laughs> you gotta get the right consistency. Yeah, grass is nutrition, man. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. There you go. Fine. Mm -hmm. You got a robin. Titus cooked us up. I'm eat this and I roll. Our rolls on our bench. Drinking our knockoff Mio. It's actually really good. It's good. Look at this view. If you sponsor me, Mio, I'd be much appreciated. I'm trying to get off the soda. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll catch you guys in the morning when we are uh, waking up. We'll see what happens. That's coming around the mountain, ain't it? <laughs> Update. It's, uh... It was like 10, 10 something. something. Titus, we kept hearing noises. And Titus our wouldn't tent. let me sleep, so. Our tent door was bad. Yeah, and our tent door broke, so we came and we're sleeping on the car, but. Um, yeah, well, something definitely walked through our campsite. I don't know if it was a bear or just a badger or something like that, but. I don't know. But anyways, spending the night in the car, and then we're going to make our trek to the lake in the morning. I don't think we're going to stay in there tonight. Yeah, this is probably going to be our only night. Morning, guys. Uh, we just woke up, um, spent the night in the car, so this is probably going to be our last day out here. So unless there's some awesome bear sign up this way, uh, probably not staying another day out here, so... What you thinking this morning? What about the tail of biggest bear you ever seen? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hike up here to this lake and do some fishing. No hiking too. After we no. get stuff kind of situated. Well, yeah. Stuff was shotgun last night. <laughs> so we're gonna get the tent put pulled down, throw it in the back, and get moving. Freedom pack. <laughs> Time to send some freedom packages. As far as the Pontiac goes, going up the snow road. Hopefully your boots are waterproof, because in a while your feet are going to be freezing if they ain't. They're not very waterproof. Yeah, you're, you're done. <laughs> well, I got wool socks on. I'll be okay. You know that Cody Dean guy just walks in the woods with just socks? Yeah, I know. Man, crazy. Alright. looks like icicles when it comes out. It's like... Let's get to hiking. So we got blessed and the snow got froze over so we're kind of somewhat sneaking along top of it, sometimes falling through. But we've got a whole three quarters of a mile probably. What do you think about that? No, we got more than that. Maybe a mile. We put some distance on. I'll turn the tracker on. But. Oh, I can check on the footsteps we took. <laughs> Alright, well. We'll get back to you guys unless we make it to the lake or see something cool. We're about two miles from the lake. It's like 8.30. There's no runoff there. Pretty cool. But, still hiking. Well, biggest disappointment of the year. We get here and it's frozen. So, we're going to get water, food in our bellies, and then the uh, dreaded hike back, but we're going home tonight, no doubt about it. <laughs> this is a barren wasteland, it's pretty, but it sucks hiking in. Well, we cooked up some mountain house, some oysters, some glacier water, not bad. And after the, we finish this, it's the... Uh, very fun hike all the way back to the car. Hopefully a lot easier. Hopefully. It should be a tiny bit shorter. So, we'll see. What do you think, Titus? Oh, it was pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. It was the opposite of fun. 
We had no idea it was gonna was gonna be super snowy up here. I mean, I guess we should have guessed that. It being six thousand feet and all. Um. Yeah, we are dying, but we're gonna try to drop below uh, snow level and then cut to the road from there because the snow is just killing us. And if I have to walk another two hours in the snow, I might cry. <sighs> It's cold outside. I got to go away. Oh, it's cold outside. It's cold. Made it down to this creek. Now we're just gonna follow this back up to the road. I tell you, this is the happiest moment of my life. Well, it's almost the happiest moment of my life. Uh, but we've been busting butt. This has been like the worst hike ever. And we didn't see any bears or deer. We didn't even see an animal. Uh, heard a grouse a bit. Yeah, I heard some grouse. Saw some pretty country, saw a cool frozen lake. And that was it. Which is actually the first frozen lake I've ever seen. So, that was cool. But, yeah. Now, we're gonna hit this road up here and cross over to the road where we parked. I'll get you guys when we finally make it to the car. Wow, um, that was the hardest hike of our lives. By far, number one. My fingernails are bloody from climbing over just snow mountains. It was like only, I think, I don't even know how many miles round trip. Was probably six or seven, but it took us like eight hours. And we're gonna head home now a day early. My bloody lips. And it just started to rain, so we're getting out of there just in time, so thank you, God, for that. <laughs> um, but wow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Suck. Um, if you like this type of content, hopefully we'll bring you more exciting stuff later, but uh, please like and subscribe.